Hello DC fans, this is JAR369 and welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Superpowers Black Manta made by McFarlane Toys. Take a look at the packaging, you can see it's just the usual, well, Superpowers packaging. You can see the window exposing the figure and, well, I was about to say accessories, but it looks like it does not come with any accessories. You get a cool artwork image of Black Manta right there. McFarlane Toys logo right there. On the back, there's the other figures from the uh, the Superpowers line and the names and you get the vehicles. And there is a bio about the character. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to read it. So that's about it. Let's take out Black Manta out of the package. Here is Black Manta out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Uh, take a look at the head sculpt here. The uh, head sculpt on him, I say they did really a great job on this figure. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Looks exactly like how he is in the comics. Or more likely the new 52 version. Yeah, the head sculpt looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. You can see the little backpack here he is having. And the little wires on there. And you get the red eyes there, of course. Uh, take a look at the whole body here. Well, it's pretty much similar to the um, Super Friends bodies that McFarlane always does. So yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same sculpt. The f you can see there's just the usual fisted hands, which he does not come with in any accessories. Well, that's fine because look at his fisted hands anyways. Everything looks the same on the body sculpt. For details... There's nothing much, it's plain black, of course, but you can see some sculpted muscles there. The boots and everything. On the bottom, there's two peckles in the bottom of his feet. And no legal leads there. So yeah. Overall for the figure, I'd say they did really a not too bad of a job. So, so yeah, pretty decent, I would say. Uh, moving on to articulation, well, he does not have any articulation. Well, the articulations are pretty much exactly the same as the previous Superpowers figures, so I'm not going to go over the articulation. And just like I said earlier, he does not come with any accessories for for what's in for all. But anyway, but overall for the figure itself, I'd say they did really a great job. i say McFarlane, he did a really great job with this figure. The sculpting on the figure looks pretty good. Uh, well, there's nothing much about the paint apps, because, well, obviously... Well, I really like the, the dome helmet here. They did really a not too bad of a job. The articulation, just very standard. Similar to the Superpowers line. Well, at the end of the day, I say this figure is a definitely if you're in your collect for your collection if you're a big fan of Aquaman. So I hope you enjoy my so for my rate on this figure, I'm gonna give the Black Manta figure probably a nine out of ten for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel and follow me on Instagram and threads, both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the McFarlane Toys DC Superpowers Black Manta figure made by McFarlane Toys. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.